Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Just sitting here checking out some YouTube on my HDTV. Thought I might show you guys how you can control the YouTube app on your Xbox 360 using YouTube app on your Android-based device. So I love watching YouTube on a big screen TV. Uh, you get full HD capabilities, especially using the HDMI cable and an Xbox 360. I love the interface. Everything looks great with the Windows 8 style interface. But I can't stand the search feature. It's such a pain trying to scroll through all these letters to type out a word and just not very efficient but you see that when we go into the search feature here we have this new prompt saying that we can pair a mobile device with our YouTube TV so I've gone ahead and done that using my Nexus 7 hopefully you guys will be able to see this and it's a very simple process. Just follow the steps on the screen here. They'll give you a code and you just enter that into the app here. Up in the settings, you'll see where it says pair with YouTube TV. And that's where you enter your code. You can name the TV here, um, you know, Sam's TV or whatever you want. And then when you're on your device and you're looking at a video, let's go to a special one here on my personal favorite channel Mobile Tech Videos 2 if you click on a video to watch as it starts to play hey guys, going on? It's Sam from you'll see up in the top right corner a little TV icon with a play button on it if we click that it asks you if you want to watch it on the tablet or on the screen. So we're going to click the screen and it automatically starts playing right on your TV. And there it is in full HD glory. Now probably the best part about this is the ability to while this is playing you can go through and search for other videos and it continues to play here on the screen. You don't uh, have to back out of the video you're watching. Down here at the bottom of the screen on your tablet, you have controls to how you can you can control the video playing. You can pause it. If you go back to the actual video that's playing here, you can control fast forwarding through, you can also on screen controls we can skip ahead to a certain spot and it works great pause just like you would watching a video on the screen now like I said, say we want to go back to a different video we can do that no problem. Tap on the video that you want to watch next. Push the play button and it automatically starts playing on the big screen. Works great. If for some reason you accidentally back out completely out of YouTube and you're doing something else on your device here, it's no problem because up in the notification bar here it still shows that the video is playing and you can jump right back to it. Now this works really well for the Nexus 7. I also have it loaded onto my Note 2. So you can pair multiple devices with the one TV and it works fine. Say we choose a different channel, another great one one that I recommend everybody check out Mobile Tech Videos, the original YouTube channel this is where Josh primarily features repairs and services provided by MobileTechVideos.com 
So we can click on one of his videos. And uh, as soon as we get through a pre-roll here, Pause the video if we want and just click on the TV there at the top. Once again, it asks us if we want to do the phone screen or the TV. Choose TV, press play, and immediately it starts playing. And here's Josh repairing the LG Optimus G. So this is a wonderful tool, guys. I am loving this. You can sit back, watch YouTube on your big screen, and search through the uh, different videos on your device here, and quickly jump to from video to video. No more dealing with that search bar at the very top. And here we go, Josh repairing the HTC One X. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching very much. Once again, this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. As always, you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. If you're not currently a subscriber to our YouTube channels, be sure to check them out, Mobile Tech Videos and Mobile Tech Videos 2. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.